Hey everybody, once again, this is Robert with Clean Pool and Spa. And this video, I want to talk about a situation that some pool owners face. Now, this is a continuing low calcium hardness. Uh, this is especially important for plaster pools, not necessarily fiberglass or vinyl pools. Um, it, the, the hardness is, it, is not as important for that simply because of the, the uh, um, calcium issue and the hardness issue. Water is hungry for calcium and it'll take it from anywhere it can get it. Now the plaster is calcium carbonate and what the water does is it loosens up the plaster and it starts to rip it away, rip the plaster away from the side of the pool in the bottom and that's called pitting and you don't want that. <clears throat> you need to satisfy the water's hunger for calcium. Um, so that's, that's true for plaster and concrete and pebble tech pools. Again, not necessarily fiberglass or vinyl because you don't have that pitting problem. Um, but this is a situation where people, they get it, they get the reading correct between 150 to 250 parts per million. You really don't need to go much higher than that. Um, I know that, that you, you may go on some websites and get some information off the internet saying that, that the range is anywhere, anywhere from like 250 up to 500. And I'm here to tell you that's too high, okay, because one, if you're adding calcium chloride, it's kind of a waste of money. Also, if you have a heater or if you have a chlorine generator, uh, you're taking a chance of those items being calcified and burning up. So 150 to 250 is really optimal. Um, now, to raise your calcium hardness, you can use calcium chloride. It's not calcium hypochlorite. That's a chlorine. This is calcium chloride. And you use um, one and a quarter pounds of calcium chloride per 10,000 gallons to raise your hardness 10 parts per million. All right? So if you want to uh, um, increase it 20 parts per million, if you double the measurement, simply double the, or the, the adjustment, simply double the amount. Now, if for a 20,000 gallon pool to raise it, 10 parts per million. If you've doubled the gallons, simply double the amount of calcium chloride that you use. So this is pretty self-explanatory. This is your baseline. Uh, so go ahead and use that. Now, uh, another issue is possibly your fill water. You know, you, some places in the country uh, have lower hardness fill water. Um, I know when I was a pool operator at the YMCA, the fill water was three parts per million. It was very, very soft. So I would have to actually add calcium chloride to the pool as an 80,000 gallon salt pool to raise the hardness to the appropriate level of 150 to 250. Now I live in Florida and the hardness is 330 parts per million. Obviously, I'm not going to add any calcium chloride. Also, when I had, when I had my pool out in Arizona, uh, the water was very hard. It was around 300 parts per million as well. So you don't have to add calcium chloride to that. Um, <clears throat> but maybe you're not using enough calcium chloride. And this, that chart that I just showed you can help you. So look at the amount that you're using. Look at your fill water and, and see how soft the fill water is. Because what happens, especially if you have a pool that's heavily used, you're going to have a lot of splash out. And as that splash out happens, you're going to be topping it off with fill water. Okay. And if that fill water is 30, 40, 50, obviously, uh, the, the hardness is slowly going to start to come down. So you need to get some calcium chloride and to make the proper adjustments to keep it within 150 to 250 parts per million. Uh, so I hope that helps you out, uh, points you in the right direction, gives you a little bit more information. Like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff, check out the description box and check out my website, cleanpoolandspa.com. Click over there and uh, lots of great information. So I'm Robert with this channel, Clean Pool and Spa. And until next time, be safe and happy swimming. Bye.